Hey Rays, with the Elder Ring Achievement Guide, we'll be going for the de defeating Rural Knight Loretta. Now I'm going to show you the path up here. You're going to want to take the southwest path around the lake or on the right side. It doesn't matter either way, but as long as you get to this point up here where I'm at is where the manor is at. Now after traversing through quite a bit of points here, it's pretty linear. One path to get to this point eventually. You're going to come to here and once you get to the spot, I'm just showing this for reference to get to the summoning pool so you don't got to worry about it. You're going to want to at least sneak about here if not if you've already killed everything at least once it's up to you what you want to do but i'm trying to show you how you get to the path up there to where you can spawn without having to worry about coming all the way back here to spawn so sneak past that wolf run up these stairs take the left hand side over here don't take the front path because it's kind of a trap in a way you want to climb this ladder and it's up to you whether or not you want to take all these couple guys i end up doing them away because it's like a one shot but i don't want them to end up shooting at something in the back because from this point on, I'm going to be going to the boss fight and whatever my health is or material that I have on me for healing potions is going to be the same way. I'm not going to get to a resting point until you die. So therefore, I'm trying to keep everything as best I could. So this part here, you could run past these guys. Make sure you kind of stick to the left, run, and kind of jump when you're near him to avoid his, his uh, thrust attacks. There's going to be a guy that's going to jump down too, so make sure you avoid that and kind of jump as well because he will hit you pretty easily. This is where that summoning pool is at. If you feel like activating it, I don't think you need to activate it by doing that. You can die and also activate it by doing that as well. But this is the room where the boss fight is at. As far as health goes, I recommend just kind of comparing what I have here. And depending upon what your class is, if you're a tank like me, some of a tank like me with some damage, you kind of compare where my FP health and stamina is at. And for your ability, I recommend whatever you feel comfortable with this with your class that you use that as well. So make sure you kind of watch your attacks. Make sure she attacks once and then kind of get in there and use your ability to manage it, depending upon how fast it is or what range it is. Once in a while, I come in and get a couple swings. I also like using my summoning bell to get some spirits to help me out as well. I like to have a little bit of variety of them with at least three of them to keep them a little distracted with a little bit of different variety of attacks here. And I gotta keep the distraction on them, and once the boss is distracted, I kind of get a couple swings. Use my ability from time to time and kind of focus on whenever she attacks and see how long it's gonna be before she attacks again. It's going to be kind of like a just play by play basis to see what she does and what order she does it. A couple of things to watch out for is her super charge attack with that spectral blast right there. She'll kind of do a couple of blasts there. The wind up attack right there, the, the end of her glaive charges, and she do, do a couple of swings. I recommend just running away from that as far as you can. That's pretty unavoidable if you're up close, so you can't really block it or negate it. Make sure you just, if you do have using specter spirits like this, make sure when they get her stunned that you just continue to hack on her you're not going to be able to get uh kind of like a little freebie on her everybody's going to stun her and then knock her out of that she does quite a bit of these gleave spectral blasts quite a bit and you can focus them on your ai little companions here from time to time you can get some free blows there as well for the most part she just kind of swings wildly and has pretty good reach whenever she rears her horse back up in the air she also does some kind of charge attack and just keep make sure you try to keep it somewhat medium distance because she will keep doing that blast on you Eventually you'll figure it out and beat her. I hope this helped you guys out. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll get back to you some more achievement guides.